and benvenuti to our online audience here in Maranello. Fun to Drive has always been part of the Ferrari DNA. And today, in the world premiere launch of the Ferrari 296 GTB, the latest evolution of Ferrari rear mid-engine two-seater Berlinetta, we have pushed these boundaries even further. And to talk about this new car, I'm so glad to have with me today Enrico Galliera, who is the Hello. Chief Marketing and Commercial Officer, Michael Leiters, Chief Technical Officer, Ciao. and Flavio Manzoni, Chief Design Officer. Ciao. Enrico, a launch of a car is always such a special day, special occasion. What can you tell us about the name of the car? Well, very simply, Ferrari 296 GTB. Uh, the name is uh, always taking inspiration by our tradition with a number. And the number is uh, also in this case uh, representing one of the key characteristics of the car, which is the engine. Uh, because on this car we will come with the V6 engine, which is going to be the first ever application of a V6 engine to a Ferrari carrying the Ferrari badge. And uh, 296 means uh, 29, which stands for the engine displacement, is a 2.9 liter and six, which stands for the V6, plus GTB, which is uh, always used in our tradition, which stands for Gran Turismo Berlinetta. And this is not a substitute or revolution of, uh, of a previous model. It's our second hybrid uh, of the Ferrari range car. And uh, how do you position it, for example, versus the FA Tributo or the SF10, SF90? Well, as you said, this is not substituting any other uh, model in our product range. And this is consistent with our strategy. We always want to come with a product that is creating a new segment. Consistently with our philosophy, different Ferraris for different Ferraristi or different moment. And in this case, we did uh, exactly the same, working to create a new concept. Uh, I would say that the three key characteristics of this car, as I said, is the engine. I'm sure Mikkel will talk a lot later on. Um, the dimension of the car is much more compact. We have been working on reducing the distance between the wheel, again, uh, to achieve a specific objective, and also working a lot on uh, all the electronic control of the car in order to work on the vehicle dynamic of the car. This has been done in order to achieve a very important objective, which is what we call fun to drive. This is going to be the car that in our range is achieving the highest level of fun to drive. Fun to drive for me means uh, a smile when you're driving the car. And it's certainly positioned differently versus any other model in our product range. It's the second hybrid. As you mentioned, we already have the SF90 Stradale, which is the first hybrid in our product range. The difference is that the SF90 Stradale is designed for clients that want to achieve the peak of the performance. The new one, the 296 GTB, is designed for clients that want to reach the peak of the emotion to drive. And uh, Michael, Enzo Ferrari used to say that the engine is the soul of uh, the car. And uh, 296 GTB will be the first road car Ferrari uh, production car with a V6 engine. What can you tell us about the V6 turbo hybrid uh, powertrain? Yeah, it's the first time, as you mentioned, and uh, it's a brand new uh, engine from, uh, from Sheet, a uh, blank sheet, um, uh, six cylinder with a hot V as a special angle, 120 degrees, uh, that we can really um, put in the turbos uh, in the middle of the, uh, of the engine and to have a lower center of gravity for the car. The integration of this engine in the powertrain and in the car was very important to have a compact uh, power unit. And um, we optimized a lot also the duct of the aspiration uh, to reduce uh, all counter pressures to have the maximum of, uh, of, of power output. We have 663 uh, horsepowers, which is the highest specific power output in the market, 221 horsepowers per liters. And we combine that with a, with a hybrid system, which we partially know from the SF90 Stradale, um, which, with, an, with an electric motor uh, with uh, 127 horsepowers and with a hybrid battery, which we, which we uh, put very low in the car to have the best uh, integration uh, of the power unit uh, in the car. The first time I drove the car, I was very impressed by the acceleration, but also very impressed by the sound, especially on high reps. Uh, it's like music to my ears, you know. How much effort did 
the engineers put into achieving such result? Yeah, um, sound is always one of the most important things for us to involve um, uh, the customer and the driver uh, in driving a, a Ferrari, and we, we put a lot of effort in it. It, it starts with the combustion itself, with the architecture or of, uh, um, of the engine, the lengths of, of the tubes, uh, where you position um, uh, the turbo and the catalyst uh, um, converters. And we have an uh, innovation here on, on this car, which we call a hot tube, where we really take um, the uh, waves before uh, the catalyst and bring them to the cabin near to the ear of the, um, of the driver. This is very important, and as you know, you would call it music. I think it's the right uh, word for that. Uh, because uh, we have a certain concept with low refs, low tones, high refs, very metallic and, and high frequencies so that you are really, with your acceleration, you combine what you can hear and uh, what you can feel um, by the acceleration. Thank you. And then uh, Flavio, the first thing that stands out uh, when I look or we look at the car is, is the design, such a, such a compact design. Um, a short wheel base car, which, which challenges and opportunities does it give you when you design such a short wheel base car? Yes, of course. This, this is the shortest wheel base of our age. So it has been a fantastic opportunity for my team and I to design a car which looks very compact, very agile. It's a, a beautiful sculpture in motion. And uh, we decided to work on, a, on the purity of the concept, of the form. So combining, I think this is a concept that combines elegance and, and sportiness at the same time. You can see uh, how beautiful are the, the muscles uh, with a very, let's say, original uh, touch. There is the real uh, muscle on the rear fender that, of course, re re recalls some Ferraris of the past, some elements of the Ferrari, Ferraris of the past, especially the 250 LM. So you can easily recognize this type of uh, uh, formal language. Um, we also work on the cabin, which, is, which looks very compact, also thanks to the vertical rear screen, which is something really unique in our range, and the wraparound effect of the, the, let's say the visor effect of the cabin that pushes the cabin forward with, with a kind of uh, cab forward effect and with a beautiful tail uh, where we worked on, the, on a concept which is typical uh, at Ferrari, that is the, the cam tail. So we basically decided to create a facet on the rear and then work on this uh, peculiar combination of languages. Very modern details and a beautiful and uh, I would say also a timeless uh, uh, line. And this design also generates or is helping performance because it generates 360 kilos of downforce at 250 kilometers an hour, but there's no aerodynamic appendices. It's everything integrated. How, how can you achieve that? This has been another beautiful challenge. So how to keep the shape so pure, so elegant, so, so refined, although uh, on, on all these aspects. So it's another example of a beautiful synergy between designers and uh, aerodynamics where actually, uh, I would say, the, 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 the trick is normally to uh, concentrate all, most, most of the technical devices on the lower layer, uh, which is dark, because we, we want to work on, on these two, two, level, two layers, so the body color part of the car looks very elegant, uh, let's say a pure sculpture, and the rest is technical, but a kind of second reading level. And there are beautiful solutions like the rear spoiler, which is uh, uh, hidden between the two the, uh, the, the, the lights, the rear lights, uh, with a beautiful, I think, with beautiful theme characterizing the rear, and the, 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 the spoiler uh, comes out uh, when, uh, when needed. And uh, there is another beautiful, um, let's say, device integrated into the, the front diffuser, in the front, sorry, a splitter, that is a kind of double wing, very characteristic, that uh, keeps the front very pure anyway, because this was the intention. So integration of the uh, aerodynamic devices, but in a, in, in a kind of pure and elegant uh, uh, contest. And finally, the cockpit also looks very innovative. What can you tell us about the cockpit? Yeah, actually, we started from the, the definition of the uh, 
human machine interface so this full digital uh, interface which is based on some let's say full digital screens especially the, 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 the let's say the uh, the cluster which is a, a wrap around screen free form and the idea was basically to keep the hands on the steering wheel and the 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 the, the, the eye on the on the road um, so we started defining this we that is, I think, a very uh, advanced uh, uh, approach. Also, because I mean, we can reconfigure all the, the screens, and when the car is switched off, everything becomes very pure, very, very simple. So there is a, a, a link with the exterior regarding that. Uh, Michael, when we talk about fun to drive, another very important element is vehicle dynamics. <coughs> uh, which are the technical elements? That, uh, that give this go-kart feeling, you know, that being a car very responsive, but yet you feel that you are in control of the car. I guess this is uh, very important, as you mentioned, because if you are scared driving a car, it doesn't make fun. So uh, uh, the controls are very important. But, but the first thing is to work on the mechanical part, on the architecture. And that's the reason why we decided to have only 50, uh, um, that we reduce the wheelbase by 50 millimeters. And this reduces dramatically the uh, inertia. Uh, of the car, so this um, makes it easier to steer uh, in a curve. We worked a lot on the on the weight. Uh, you have to consider we have to have here extra weight on on the hybrid system, which we uh, um, compensated. Um, we have uh, to lower the powertrain to have a lower center of gravity that helps also, and then the controls itself. We have a new um, uh, sensor on board, which is uh, able to measure six ways. And that allows us to estimate very, very precisely how close we are uh, to the limit. And this gives us more um, control and more performance at the end. To give you one example, um, the brake distance from 200 to zero were reduced by about 9%, 107 meters. So this is really a lot. This is not only um, driving uh, um, dynamics, this is also safety. And finally, I'm sure our audience would like to know You've given now numbers about braking. Yeah. What about acceleration, for example, or power to weight ratio, or even hybrid? Uh, how many kilometers can you do? Any yeah. numbers that the audience would like to know? So, some performance figures uh, 0 to 100, 2.9 seconds, uh, 0 to 200, 7.3 seconds. Uh, we have for, for us a new record um, 1.77 um, um, power weight ratio. Uh, and um, we know our customers uh, appreciate a lot from the SF90 that we have also an electric range. And again, we go here up to a speed of 135 kph and uh, tw uh, 25 kilometers electric range. And Enrico, for those who want to exploit these dynamic, dynamic capabilities even further, uh, today we are presenting also the Assetto Fiorano. What can you tell us? About it. Uh, this is the <clears throat> always the additional challenge we put on the technical team of Michel because we want to create even something more that is maybe designed for, as you mentioned, the client that wants to reach the peak of the performance and fully exploit the potential fun to drive, maybe on track. So we designed this uh, Assetto Fiorano, which is basically allowing to further uh, enjoy the driving thanks to, uh, I would say, three main factors that have been introduced. Number one, there has been an additional extensive work in further reducing the weight using uh, carbon fiber components. Uh, secondly, we have been adding suspension derived from our racing uh, experience that are further improving the performance. And last but not least, uh, we have designed with Flavio and his team uh, a new fully dedicated, very exclusive livery that makes the appearance of the car even more sporty. Thank you. Also, as you can see, with, with the 296 GTV, we have brought this concept of fun to drive even further. And of course, uh, keeping this sportiness, performance and driving through. So uh, thank you very much. After this short video, we're gonna start with the Q&A session. Thank you and Forza Ferrari.